The Bay County Sheriff's Office is working to get drugs like fentanyl off the streets. Just this week, they arrested a man who had fentanyl in his possession. News Channel 7's JT Lynch joins us with details on Bay County's fight against opioids. According to those we spoke with at the Sheriff's Office, while the prevalence of fentanyl and other narcotics are on the rise, law enforcement is actually better equipped at saving lives from the drugs than they have been in years past. The Bay County Sheriff's Office has noticed the increase in fentanyl in our area. Just this week, BCSO arrested 46-year-old Nathan Combs. Combs allegedly had numerous types of drugs in his possession, including the one gaining popularity. Fentanyl has, is in our area. Um, it's more prevalent now than it has been. According to Lieutenant Higgins, in years past, a bus might feature an ounce or two of fentanyl, but now they can find multiple pounds of it at once. The increase has forced the Sheriff's Office Special Investigations Division to make fentanyl a higher priority. My division is actively working fentanyl traffickers and dealers daily. Um, it is here. They are dealing it just as much as they are dealing methamphetamine now. Beyond just getting the drug off of the street, BCSO says they want people to understand just how dangerous this sort of drug is. And just the awareness that um, this will kill you, that people need to understand that doesn't matter how many times you've tried it before, this one time could be your last time. The good news is that with the more common use of Narcan, an opioid overdose treatment, and more experience with the drug in general, Bay County has seen a 65% decrease in deaths related to fentanyl in the last three years. The county is also looking to expand its Lifeline program in the county jail, which aims to help recovering addicts that are currently incarcerated. Let's hope it works. All right. Thanks, JT. When someone does die of an overdose in Bay County, the sheriff's office treats the case as a homicide. This approach has resulted in 14 people charged with manslaughter in connection with overdose deaths.